This is where it gets really interesting. We have to recreate this sound. To recreate that sound, what the hell is that sound? Who's not entertained by my pain? Burn is the ninth track off of Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign's Vultures 1. And these were the producers. I spent over 29 hours deconstructing this instrumental, remaking everything with almost 100% accuracy. This even includes the sample that they used from Band of Thieves, which came out in 1971. Love me. So let's cut to a sponsored version of myself to break down the sample. The sample is called Love Me or Leave Me and it was found and licensed through Tracklib, who I'd like to thank for sponsoring this video. Tracklib is the world's first record store designed specifically for sampling, where producers can find and license samples from a catalogue of over 100,000 songs, including the individual track stems for many of those songs. For example, J. Cole used a multi-track from Tracklib in creating the song Middle Child, produced by T-. So they heard the song Wake Up To Me by First Choice. They only wanted the horns, so we can scroll down and access the horns on their own. So if I go to the tracks page, we have nearly endless songs to sample from, and you can sort through genre, key, BPM, release year. So let's go R&B, and let's make the release years between 1970 and 1980. This can be really helpful if you're looking for a specific type of song to sample. Say you like the song Something Worth Leaving For by Johnny Adams. <laughs> And let's say you just wanted that string sound, you can scroll down and just get the sample for the strings on their own. You will get unlimited sample clearance with Tracklib's premium and max plans. And with the signup link that we have provided in the description, you will get a free trial and 30 download credits. You'll have to add a payment method, but you won't be charged until the end of the trial. Let's continue on with the remake. Thanks, Sponsored Aiden. This is the sample found and licensed by Kanye. Love me. Like I mentioned, one of the benefits of Tracklib is that they give you the multi-track stems. So we needed to access the stems without these vocals playing. So this is just the instrumental of Love Me or Leave Me. The most important sound to recreate from this sample was also a sound that I've never heard before. And it was this weird warped organy sort of guitar sound. The original guitar that was used in this sample was the Gibson ES-335, but they have warped this guitar so much, so it was so hard for me to actually identify that this was the guitar that was used. It's gonna sound like this. So we've managed to find the chords. But the problem is it sounds nothing like it. So the effects are really important with this preset. We're gonna be adding some guitar rig, which many of you might be familiar with, and we're gonna be adding some different types of compression, some reverb, and some flanger chorus. Already much closer. Then we need some more vibrato. So we're gonna be sending this to a mix bus and we're gonna be adding some RC20 retro color to add some wobble, which is another way of adding vibrato basically. But then as you can hear, we have all these other different subtle guitars playing. Incredibly complex sample we are trying to recreate. So the next thing we're gonna be adding in, we have this really subtle bell coming in. And I was able to find a preset that almost perfectly replicated this sound. You can find this in Omnisphere in their Keyscape expansion. It's called the Celeste preset. Then we have another guitar coming in. This is a Telecaster. Another Gibson coming in. Next up, we have a really surprising preset, actually. It's a plucked viola. So I opened up the traditional violas preset within Session Strings Pro 2 within Contact, and we're using the pizzicato articulation. Next up, we have a bass guitar coming in, and this is a Fender Jazz bass. And we're playing this melody. Yet another guitar coming in. This sample was so incredibly difficult to recreate because there were so many layers to it. This is where it gets really interesting. We have to recreate this sound. <laughs> 
To recreate that sound, what the hell is that sound? We're going to be using two different string presets, violins, as well as some cellos, and these play two different articulations, also known as different ways of playing the instrument. So we're switching between sustain and glissando, which are note slides. You can see here that C sharp one activates glissando. So we're playing C sharp one for this first note. And then it needs to play normally for the rest of this melody. So we're switching the articulation back to C1, also known as sustain notes. These MIDI notes aren't playing any sound. They're just telling the instrument how to play. Then we're adding some effects to beef up the sound, make it bigger. So we're using RC20 Retrocolor, adding some wobble, distortion, space reverb, then some chorus and some compression. Finally, we need to add in a choir. So we're opening up Omnisphere using the Choir Women R's preset. I'm going to export this. Let's bring that back into the project and we're going to be speeding this up. So let's bring this down to 105 and we're going to be stretching this sample in. Finally, we're taking the sample up by two semitones. And this is how Burn was made. <laughs> Next up, we're adding the drums. So this is Love Me or Leave Me, which we got from Tracklib. And using the latest version of FL Studio, we can now extract the stems from the sample. And so we're gonna be extracting the drums. And these were in fact, the exact drums that were used in making Burn. So this is the drum loop. And let's speed this up to 105 as well. This was a live recording, so these drums won't be playing exactly in time. So we're going to be going through this loop and making sure that these drum samples are actually playing in time. Then to beef up the drum samples, we are using Isotope's Trash and we're using the preset Drum Squasher. I've actually had one of Kanye's producers on a previous video on how power was made. And he said that one of the best plugins for beefing up your drum samples is Trash, Tr ironic name. So this is before and after. But the beefing up doesn't stop there. We need to emphasize the kick and the snare, and we're going to be beefing these up using additional kicks and additional snares. So I'm using our Utopia Kick 11, as well as the Utopia Snare 87. So now the drums are gonna sound like this. So this is the final result. That is it for the remake today. Thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully you found this informative. We have many a remake coming up for this following year and I'm so excited for you guys to join us. So feel free to subscribe, turn on that little not notification bell so you don't miss out when these videos come out next time. And I'll see you guys next time.